Hey guys, this is Joe from Excel by Joe. In today's video, I want to go over the separating a uh, cell into multiple cells. If you um, are ever on DraftKings, you'll notice the positions on uh, some players, they usually do double positions. And when we're doing our spreadsheet to do some research, if we're copying their salary export in, you're going to get something like this, where there's multiple positions sometimes. To break break it out we could either manually do it which we don't want to do you could do um, a text of columns to to move that over but that's, an, that's another manual step I'm going to show you how to do this with formulas so all you'd have to do is paste your salary export in and the formula will do it so the first one we're going to do is we want to get the left side we want to get the we want to break this under position one and position two and if there's no position two it's just going to be blank so we're going to start off by writing the, the left formula. So we see we got left, so it's going to put the leftmost cells. We want to get this cell, and how many cells do we, uh, characters do we want? In this case we got two, but sometimes it might just be one. So we can't tell. There's different ways to figure, figure this out, but I'm going to use the, the find function to do that. So what we're going to do, we're, we're going to look for the slash. Since, the, since we're going to look for a slash in here, so we want to find the slash within what text? Within here. And what that's going to do, it's going to tell you th the slash is in the third cell. So, so right now this formula is telling you, saying take the leftmost three characters, because this is what the find says, out of B2. So right now it would pull back SG slash. So if we let it go, C pulls back SG slash. So if we do minus one, now it's just going to pull SG. So it pulled the right position. If we copy this down to center, see it's just going to pull the center, even though it's just one character. This is where we get come up with an error though, if there happens to be no slash in there, because it's looking for the, the slash, it's not there. So what we need to do, we need to start off with an if statement. And the if statement is basically just going to ask how long the cell is. If the length of this cell is less than 3, then we want just to put this cell. Otherwise, we're going to put this. Because basically if it's one or two characters, then we, we know that it's only one position. And then we, we just want to put the B2 in there. If it's more than two, th two characters, if it's three or more, then we want to put the formula in there because you know there's a slash and there's two positions in there. So now I press enter. Now when I copy this down, there. So now we've got the SF in there. So that's how to get the position one. Now position two is going to be pretty similar with just one little difference. So let's start off with doing the right function because we're pulling the rightmost characters of it. And again, two would normally work, but if, if there happens to be center for the second position, it's not going to work because it's only one character. So again, we're going to need to do the find, but we need to do, take the length of the whole thing minus the find. Because if we did the find, like on here, it'll pull back a three. So then if we did right comma three, it's going to pull back slash sf. We need to do the length of the whole cell, which was five characters, sg slash sf, that's five characters, minus the find. So now we do the find, what are we finding? We're finding the slash in this cell. So now I press enter, and there. So what this is doing, it's taking the rightmost characters from B2, which is what we want, and it's taking the length, which happens to be 5, minus the find. The result of this find, remember, is 3, because the slash is in the third character. So 5 minus 3 would equal 2. So it's going to take the right two characters. See, and if we copy this down, it takes the SF, even though this is only four characters here. C slash SG, that's only four characters. And then again here, it's going to give you an error, so we need to put an, an if statement before here. So we go if, and then we're going to check the length of it again. If the length is less than 3, 
then we're putting quote, quote. Otherwise, we're doing the formula. The reason we're putting quote, quote is because we don't want to pull it again since we're pulling, if it's less than three, it's basically seen as one position. And if there's one position, we're putting it in position one. We don't want anything in position two then. So if we press enter, and copy this down, there. So we just created a formula to change the positions. And say the next day comes in and you're copying in new formulas, See here, I, I just changed this to SF slash C. So now here, the second position is a center. And this will automatically update, and you don't have to worry about doing any extra steps to get these into the, their correct uh, positions over two cells. So that's all we got. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. And um, check out my video school, uh, spreadsheetschooldfs.com. I'll put the link down below. Uh, great. Have a great day. Thanks.